Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hive. Okay, so today we'll be going through how to build your own uh, HyperShot uh, adapter. This is a uh, MMCX to uh, 3.5mm. Okay, so in this case, uh, we are going to make a 2.5mm. But it is the same uh, method and uh, just some uh, not different, just some different steps uh, because uh, if you look at the interior of the the 2.5 uh, we don't have uh, any clamp and it, this is a plus and this is a, a two contact pin uh. so the 3.5 version will look like this uh. so we have the, the clamp there and uh, we have uh, three contacts okay so first uh, we go through what kind of uh, equipment and uh, what kind of parts we need okay first we need the mmcx female connector this uh, mmcx female connector for mounted surface mounted uh, boards okay then uh, we have the enamel coated wires these are the one that we use to connect the pin to the MMCX. Okay, so of course we will need the jack, the pins itself, and uh, some heat shrink. I mean, you can skip this step if you want, but uh, we use heat shrink to. I mean, we use our own heat shrink to put our logos on it. Okay, for tools, of course, uh, we need the standard soldering tools. So your soldering iron and your solder and uh, your cleaner and whatever. Uh, heating tools for the heat shrink and cutting tools. Uh, that's about all. Okay, so I missed out. Uh, well, this is the epoxy uh, party that we are going to use. Uh, and we need the tweezers, a pair of tweezers to install the party. So basically, uh, I'll list all the parts and uh, the tools required in the link below, I mean in the description below. So what we want to achieve uh, is just to have the MMCX coming out of here. And we chose this uh, particular MMCX because uh, the size is about about there. So what happens if we just throw it inside? Okay, you can see that the MM6 is out here. So ideally you want it to be flush but not too inside because you cannot uh, get your male MM6 to fully click in. So this is a very simple project uh, for the in case of the the 2.5 mm version. Okay, basically we want to uh, thin all the connectors here. If you haven't already, uh, we have a video. Uh, put the link up here, uh, where we teach you how to do uh, soldering on connectors, and uh, all the ways that you can uh, you can use lah. So it's quite in depth. So basically, we are going to thin the connector. So by thinning, it means uh, we just coat a layer of uh, solder on it. So all the all the required uh, like skill and everything, like thinning and all all the thing we have go we have gone through in the previous video. Okay, so once this is done, uh, basically it's very simple. You want to drop this MM6 connector that is thin uh, and also connected to the wires already. You want to drop that inside here and we'll pack the epoxy and uh, let it harden and we can close up the thing. So we'll start by mixing this uh, epoxy party because this party will take about uh, two, three hours to get some strength, hardening strength. So we'll mix them up first. 
we use a party uh, instead of the liquid version uh, because they have a much longer working time. You can continue to work on it for about 30 minutes or 40 minutes uh, once you mix them. Uh, for the liquid version, uh, the AB liquid uh, epoxy, the working time is only about 5 minutes to 7 minutes. Yeah, so this is much easier to work with and also you can mold them to shapes and you can sand them down afterwards. Okay, after we mix, uh, we want to uh, get a wet wipe because the epoxy will get in between your fingerprint and uh, you have a very sticky situation. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, install the wires on the MMCX first, not on the connector. So uh, we'll start by soldering them, it's quite f easy. I mean, uh, it might be small, but it's not a difficult task. Uh, I cannot, I do not know if you all can see properly, uh, but basically we just uh, dab the solder iron onto the contact. We place them together, I just dab them. And wait for it to cool down before we remove it. Yeah. Hey, so after this step, is actually already almost done. So now we have this, we want to put them in here, like this, uh, and we pack the epoxy down. Okay, so from the epoxy that we mixed earlier on, uh, we just tear them into half, lah, one for each side, or you can leave a little bit that's a control so uh you can leave it uh out in open for about a few hours once you touch it that is it's really solidified and hard then you can start to use your your pins already okay so we'll put this also basically just drop it in uh, and make sure that it exits the back hole yeah Okay, so we have uh, two epoxies here. Uh, you realize that you cannot go enter here. Very simple, we just uh, roll them. They are, they, are, they are easy to work with. And we use a set of uh, pincers here to press the epoxy down. Okay, we do want to make sure that uh, none of the wire is broken and everything. Uh, so we have meters to check all that. Uh, we also have a video on how to make your own tester. So I'll put it, the link here down here. Okay, so we make we shape it to be a long shape and just put it in. If not, it will not fit. And just use your tweezers to pack it down. Okay, once it's secure, you want to straighten it, and uh, that's about it. Uh, you have to wait for it to dry. Okay, uh, but we can also do the soldering first. So, in this kind of pin, uh, the the tip and the sleeve, so the positive and the negative. Some headphones use a different configuration, uh, so do check the pin out first. So, tip is always the one that furthers away, and the sleeve is basically the same piece of metal here. So, we just uh, solder them in. 
take for this one you want to make sure that uh, the solder is flush or lower than the screw thread itself because uh, if not it will not fit into the barrel so the soldering part is simple uh, just put the two contacts together and hit them you want this to be as flat as possible So next, you want to install this uh, by screwing it in. Uh. So as you know, if you turn it clockwise, the wire will start to twist. Okay, it's not in focus. Uh. Okay, so to counteract that, uh, we will actually... do a few twists counterclockwise first. And then we push it in. Make sure all the wires go in. Uh, they, are, they don't end up on the thread. Because uh, it can be cut. So once it's pushed in. Uh, since they have been turned counter clockwise. Uh, we now turn them clockwise. So they will sort of unravel. But uh, not to a <laughs> perfect extent. So this is one part done. And the other one is the same. You could always use a uh, thinner enamel coated wire to, to make everything easier because they, they are not as uh, hard, not as stiff. Okay, so basically this is done. Uh. So we just put our heat string on it and uh, apply some heat. You can use a heat gun or a lighter if you're in a rush. Okay, so basically we are done. We have a set of this. Okay, so let's talk a bit about the 3.5 millimeter version. Uh. It's uh, not that different, but because uh, we have an additional of this clamp down here. If you take a look, uh, is this correct? So we basically solder the connector, we clamp it down, the connector, so we con uh, we clamp the connector here, and uh, we get the height that we want, uh, so we get, do some measurement with the barrel, so we clamp it there, and we solder it, the ground to it, and we connect the second pin to the ground also, and first pin to the, to the positive side, and uh, we epoxy the whole thing, uh, so we put some epoxy inside. So that is a more secure way to, to build a 3.5mm with a clamp. Because some of them come without the clamp. And, and the steps are similar to uh, the 2.5. Okay, so that's all for this video. Uh, so you can make your own uh, small pins, small connectors. Uh, and uh, I, I'll get the list up in the description uh, the enamel wires uh, I'll make a separate video on how you can recycle used earpiece or spoiled wires uh, and get the internal wires out and reuse them as uh, internal I mean uh, the, the, the enamel coated wire like the one that we see here because we found out that it's not actually easy to buy them online I, I cannot find the link to the AliExpress. If I can find, I'll put it. If not, I'll put some on sale on my website and link to it. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.